YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with some more trucking. Today, let's talk supply and demand. Supply and demand. A lot of y'all went out and bought trucks during COVID, and y'all really didn't understand what was going on out here in the game. Well, our economy is a consumer-based economy, and a lot of you guys know that if product isn't moving, a whole lot of other things isn't moving either. But there are a lot of people that went out and purchased trucks during COVID because a lot of people was scamming with these PPP loans. And a lot of people got on here and told y'all that this was a get rich quick scam or scheme. And a lot of these guys didn't know what they were talking about. A lot of these girls didn't know what they were talking about. They were just saying, oh, I'm making money hand over foot. Check me out. Look at my videos. Blase squad. A lot of them turned into coaching gurus. A lot of them turned into relationship gurus. A lot of them turned into uh, marketing gurus and all of these things. But if you go back and you do your research before COVID, where were they? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people wasn't giving y'all the information and telling y'all what's going on and all of that stuff. But when you see the monies, you see them and it looks like their, you know, stuff is thriving. You're saying to yourself, oh, they must be doing good and they must know what they're talking about. Well, a lot of these guys don't know what they're talking about. A lot of these guys was just scammers and they figured out the loopholes and they figured out how to, to make their business work. And... They scammed for a lot of money. They got that money back and they took it and they turned it legit. And then they come to you guys and they say, oh, well, you know, you should be doing this and you should be doing that. And I was telling you this and I was telling you that. But a lot of them start talking about things that they knew they scammed their way into. They didn't go out and work hard for it. They didn't tell you the ins and outs to the game. They didn't show you about breakdown costs, maintenance costs, um, the cost of living out here on the road, just the cost of living, period, you know, for the ones that aren't out here on the road, just the cost of living, period. A lot of these guys were telling y'all, oh, invest in some gold, or you should be having your money, um, putting it into the stock market. Oh, you should be trading. Forex, oh, crypto, oh, they had all of these things going on. And now you hardly see any of these guys talking about none of that stuff. You got some of these guys, they just, they want to go around and they want to say, oh, this person is doing bad. Oh, this industry is doing bad. Oh, you should come to me and you should get my advice and I can show you how to maneuver through it. And you guys looking at him like, oh, he's driving a Bentley or she's driving a, 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 a GT coupe. And, you know, you jump on the bandwagon and you scratch the surface a little bit and you realize that it's not all what it's cracked up to be. You know, you got people that are selling flat tummy tea and, and, and all kind of different things and, and, weight loss programs and gym memberships and and then you come to find out they got a PPP loan and they went and had their body done but you chose to follow it and you in the gym working your ass off thinking you're going to get the same results that they got but what they're not telling you is oh yeah you know I went over to the DR and I had the fat sucked out of my stomach or out of my legs or out of my arms. And this is the reason why I look this good. But they'll have you in the gym. Oh, you need to do 100 Ds. You're not working hard enough. You're not doing this hard enough. And you're not getting the results. But yet and still, you continue to give them your money. So you got to pay attention to the ones who's out here that just telling you a bunch of baloney don't know what's going on that what well, they know what's going on 
And what's going on is you're being scammed. We are in a supply and demand economy. So when you look at the economy, if people aren't buying things, then that means that a lot of things aren't going to be moving. A lot of people aren't going to need trucks for things. Look at the trends. Follow the trends. If you look at the trends, you will see that the trucking industry has always been a up and down market or up and down industry. So don't get caught up in all of these people who took PPP loans, started a legit business, learned how to scale their business, and now they want to sell you the information on how they did it, but they don't tell you the ins and outs to it. You have to buy that information. They don't give you the up and downs to it. They don't show you how to look at charts, read charts. They don't show you these things. So don't get caught up in the hype. But anyhow, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off, man. I just thought I'd come on here and give you guys a little bit of the game on what's going on out here and to tell you guys to pay attention to what's going on. Do not go out and buy no $200,000 truck with a $2,500 a month payment and thinking that, oh, you're gonna get rich. That's not how you get rich in the game. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this situation. Are you a victim of some of these people who've been out here scamming? If you are, leave it in the comment. Let me know because I was once a victim of the scams. We won't go into detail, but yeah, I got burned as well. So, but that was in my beginning, my beginning stage, my beginning, beginning era. era. And uh, just let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Runaway Child. And we are...